back to the channel. I am Trip HP Junkie, and on this channel we discuss anything Harley Davidson related. And today I am getting off of work here and heading home, and we are on the Dyna. But the topic of discussion is gonna be my bagger. Um, it is a 06 Electric Glide Standard, and and that bike has developed a uh, high speed front end wobble that originally I thought was the uh, stabilizer link the uh, swing arm was moving the bushings and in the last video we'll put it up here um, I installed one of the progressive uh, stabilizer links to help the uh, swing arm from moving in the chassis and it did absolutely nothing. <laughs> it didn't change. Oh, this guy's running up on me. Yeah, it didn't change anything. Uh, let's see if we can sneak in here. What's this guy doing in the fast lane? But yeah, it didn't help out anything at all whatsoever. Um, <laughs> Talk to a couple people, kind of brainstormed some stuff, and it looks like what I'm thinking next is the steering head bearings are either loose or they need to be replaced. So what we're going to try to do is adjust them first, see if we can get a little tighter, see if it goes away, and kind of go from there. But I did... Uh, what are we all slamming on our brakes for? I did pick up uh, a Enforcer 19 inch wheel from a really cool guy off of Instagram in Texas. It's Hang My Customs. Check him out. He runs a really good shop in, uh, I believe it's DFW, Texas. Dallas Fort Worth for people that don't know. And yeah, follow him on Instagram. It's, it's really cool, entertaining dude. But yeah, he hooked me up with a uh, deal on an Enforcer, which is 14 and up, Road Glide, Street Glide uh, front wheel. And I was hoping to get my old heavy 21 off the front of Betty, my bagger, and try that Enforcer. And just like anything you do, <laughs> it kind of. is 
awesome. I don't think I can ever live on a second floor or third floor ever again. Uh, it is nice driving up to your house and just walking in the door, which seems like a crazy concept. But yeah, we've been loving it. Uh, got got moved and, and yeah, hopefully get back to normalcy. We'll start pumping out these vlogs. We got some projects coming on Betty, which I'm stupid stupid excited about really. I know it's just spending more money, but I think when it's done, it's gonna be improved a, a, a crap ton um, from where that bike is. It already has legends on it, some cams in it, you know, your little bolt-on stuff. Uh, it already has T-bars on it and, and stuff like that, but the next level stuff is, is attacking those brakes that wheel and, and fix that handling issue man that's the major goal is i want to i want to rip that five speed bagger like i do this dyno and I, i'm already there it's just uh extremely sketchy <laughs> just put it that way but i believe it's neck bearings like i said before i've kind of repeated myself on that but i think the last time i just those things has been like 10 000 miles ago so We'll, we'll hit that up. We'll do a video on that and uh, see if we can help anybody out there that's never done that. And yeah, guys, that's it uh, for this one. This is Harley Motor Vlog number 34. We appreciate the support. Go hit up Purpose Built Motorcycles for any parts needs and merch needs. Use discount code TRIPHP, all caps, at checkout. And Johnny and the guys over there will give you a hookup on some parts but until the next one guys take it easy and we'll see you on the next one